up everybody? Knowledge Bomb, episode five. Boom, what's up? So I'm at my boy Todd Crawford's house in his garage gym. This place is sick, it's almost done. So he's been putting the planks on the walls and it's just raw as hell, so I figured you guys would like this. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna talk about some toes to bars today. But let me go ahead and stoke this fire up real quick. We got the wood burner in the garage. I mean, it don't get any better than this, I'm telling you. So anyway, a lot of people have been asking me how I've been getting more speed out of the bottom on my deadlifts. And at the end of the day, your lower back has to be strong, but so does your lower abs. And I think a lot of people miss that. And so one of the things that I started doing was a non-kipping, three sets of 10, toes to bar, sometimes with ankle weights, sometimes not, almost every day. And I add GHDs, and that's just kind of what I call them, like my insurance policy. And what happens is, when you put your belt on, and you push into that son of a bitch hard at the bottom of your deadlift, that's what creates that, um, that speed out of the bottom besides your leg drive. Your core has to be strong. And so when I say non-kipping, all that really mean is you're just gonna be on the bar like this, and I just want your legs to start here, and then just take them over the top of your head. Just like so. Back down, up like this. It's a little bit harder than it looks, actually. And so if you just add three sets of 10 like that, at the end of your workout, and now I'm doing three sets of five on the GHD with weight also, my deadlift is taking off like crazy. But I really believe the speed out of the bottom is helping when I got my belt on because my lower abs are so much stronger. So that was Knowledge Bomb, episode five, in my boy Todd Crawford's garage gym. Boom! CoreyGFitness.com.